Okay, we're going to do now a demonstration of how to put together an income statement, retained earnings, and balance sheet using the accounts from a particular company. And in this case, the company is Witten Corporation, and the accounts are as of 2012. Now, what I want you to do is pause the video now, take a look at this problem, and do it on your own. Then, uh, start the video again and see how I did it. Every midterm exam in accounting will have a question asking you to prepare financial statements for a corporation. So here we have the items for Witten Corporation for the year December uh, for the year 2012, ending December 31st. You have retained earnings now at the beginning of the year. That's January 1st. 31,000. Then you have utilities, expense, equipment, accounts payable. So you see they're in no particular order. You're asked to prepare an income statement. You always do the income statement first. You need the net income. Then you complete the retained earnings statement and then the classified balance sheet. So to begin with, the heading, Witten Corporation Income Statement for the year ended December 31st, 2012. So the first thing, as you notice, you look for a revenue account. Now the income statement has revenue and expense accounts. So we have revenue. There's only one revenue account. Sometimes there may be two revenue accounts. But in this case, there's only service revenue. So we put that. First heading is revenue. First account is service revenue, 68000 then you go through all the accounts and you're going to list the expense accounts. Now you can list them in any order that you want. I have here salaries and wages expense and that is 37,000. Depreciation 3600, insurance 2200, utilities 2000, maintenance repairs 1800. Now notice cuz I'm going to add all of these, I put them to an inside column and I simply draw a line and then we're going to have total expenses. Total expenses, 46600 And then I draw another line, and I have my net income. 21400 and, oops, I then double underline that. So there's your income statement. Revenue and expenses. Expenses can be listed in any order, just listed from high to low here. Uh, if I'm going to add, I move to an inside column here, you see there's two columns. Okay, one and two, I move to the inside. I total it, bring it to the outside, so on the outside I only have two, revenue and expenses, and the bottom line here is net income of 21400 Now this goes to the common shareholders and the statement for the common shareholders is the retained earnings statement which we will do next. The retained earnings statement is also a time period statement for Witten. So here then we are going to look at what the earnings were at the beginning of the year plus what we earned during the year minus what we paid to the shareholders in the form of dividends. So we take the retained earnings at the beginning of the year, which was 31000 To that, we're going to add the net income, which is 21400 Okay, and we add it so that we have 52400 as the total so far. Now we're going to subtract the dividends. The dividends were 12000 so this now gives us retained earnings. I'm going to make it short form here. End of the year. End of year. And I subtract, and I have 40400 So there, double underline again. That's the amount of uh, earnings that have been kept by the company, but they belong to the shareholder. So this 40400 will go to the shareholders' equity section of the balance sheet. And the balance sheet is the one we do next. And remember, it's a classified balance sheet. Now the heading of the balance sheet. 
Witten Corporation balance sheet as at December 31st, 2012. Recall, this is a snapshot of what the business looked like in terms of the assets it has, the people it owes, and the investment that the shareholders have in the company as at the end of business, December 31st, 2012. So we start off with the assets, and we start off with uh, current assets. So you remember the current assets are those assets which are we going to be used up in the new year. First one. Cash, of course, is always listed first. They're listed in the order of liquidity. Accounts receivable, 11700 Prepaid insurance. Now, when a company buys an insurance policy, it pays for the whole year. And so at the end of the year, there's still some value left in that insurance policy. That's why it's listed here. Now, notice we totaled them in there, we draw a line, and we take the total current assets to the outside. The next category of assets for this um, problem is plant, property, and equipment. Now, for property, plant, and equipment, we only have one account here, and it's equipment, and it's 66000 So we put it to the inside because we're going to subtract from that the accumulated depreciation. And accumulated depreciation is 17600 So we subtract that. We draw a line and we carry the total to the outside column. So on the outside column we have current assets and we have the property, plant, and equipment. So we total those two and we get total assets of 73700 So those are our assets as of December 31st, 2012. We will now look at the liabilities and the shareholders' equity section. So the current liabilities, there are two. Accounts payable, 18300 Salaries and wages, 3000 So I total those two, and my current liabilities are 21300 Now, there are no long-term liabilities, so therefore the shareholders' equity section would be completed next. Now, the shareholders' equity section, the first thing is the common stock. That is the amount that the shareholders invested in the company. They purchased stock from the company, which are shares. And the retained earnings comes from the retained earnings statement that we completed earlier. And so, oh, wait a minute, the retained earnings is not uh, 40400 It's not 40000 it's 40400 so the total now of the shareholders' equity section is 52.4. The liabilities are 21.3. And when we total those two, we get 73,700. And we double underline that. So you see the total assets, assets equal liability plus shareholders' equity. The assets, 73,700. Liabilities, 21.3. Shareholders' equity, 52.4. And therefore, 73.7 on this side of the equal sign, 73.7. And on this side, 73.7. And this is the balance sheet equation. This we're going to use when we next look at how we analyze and record transactions. So this, is the, this completes a question that will be on every midterm exam. That is, prepare for me, in good form, an income statement, a statement of retained earnings, and a classified balance sheet.